wanna be honest, the most romantic thing somebody did for me, it was my first boyfriend. He robbed somebody and gave me the money and gave me the bill he stole. And it was just so sweet because he was out of breath and stuff. He's like, here, I just got this for you. I was like, oh. Because nobody never did nothing like that for me. He stole for me. So I'm like, oh, you did that for me, really? And that's the first time somebody ever had got me a gift or tried to do something for me. And I know he didn't have it. So the fact that you still made a way and you did what you had to do, that was nice. And it was only $13. I have had just about enough of seeing black culture being drugged through the muck by other black Americans who are perverting it and turning black culture, something that is beautiful into something perverse. Showing their on the internet all the time, the men are constantly rapping and talking about gang violence. Our children are uneducated and stupid. We've created a cultural standard of promiscuity and single motherhood and when a black American goes to critique and judge our peers, our fellow black Americans, and critique the condition of our uh, neighborhoods today, they're shut down. That's respectability politics. You're policing black Americans. If that's what it is, so be it. So be it, it needs to be said. What is good guys? So we gotta talk about this lady that I stumbled across. So I've been getting this recommendation for like a couple weeks now and I finally decided to check it out. So this lady, Basically, it's this black woman. You can see her up on the screen here. She basically totally went off on black culture in America. Okay, now there's African culture and other types of brown skinned people in different parts of the world. Then there's black American culture, which I would argue is where the majority of the problem is. Okay, like a lot of things have happened. There's a lot of historical reasons why things are the way that they are. But the fact remains that now they are how they are. And it is a problem for the most part. Like you got some people that's doing really well and doing really good and educated and trying to do the right thing. You got a bunch of ratchets and N words. Okay. It is what it is. And when you try to call out the bad stuff, the people want to call you a raccoon, a ruckus. Okay. You just trying to cap for the whites. Okay. You want to be white. You hate yourself, right? This is the idiotic stuff that people say when you try to do some self-reflection and reflection on the community. If you're black, you're a sellout for talking about black issues. If you're white, you're racist for talking about black issues. So basically, they don't want nobody to talk about black issues. And basically, these people are idiots. But anyway, without further ado, let's just go ahead and react to this. Here is my little two cent that nobody asked for. I am sick of seeing Black Americans in the media, on social media, in the news, doing crime, walking around next to naked, the women, the men perpetuating gang violence, substance abuse. The absolute worst of our community is oversaturating the media, even though they make up a small percentage of all of Black Americans. The decay of our morality within Black communities has been slowly declining. I'm going to... um. I'm going to interrupt her for a second to say, I mean, sis, like, so this person's name was Zaria, something like that. I'll, I'll try to post a link. Hopefully I remember to do so. I'll try to post a link so y'all can check her out. Um, so <laughs> I kind of disagree with you, sis. These people aren't a minority of people, man. They're just not like everybody. I live in the South and I've been, I've traveled to lots of parts of not only America, but the world. And a lot of people in america in particular that are black are extremely ghetto extremely trifling uh promote degeneracy not speaking proper english always want to talk about drugs guns popping bottles turning up and if you don't do that stuff or you speak ill of it then you're a lame you're square you know you trying to be white whatever so the the idea the idea that it's like a minority of people Honestly, I mean, the statistics do not bear that out. I believe that's false. I believe that it's actually a majority of people in the community are not really doing what they're supposed to do, including some of those kind of middle class people. A lot of those people like <laughs> I mean, a lot of these people are my friends. I know these people because I'm black and can't get away from them. And they're not really doing so great themselves. I mean, they're making a decent amount of money, but in terms of the culture, not so good over the past 20 years and no one is talking about it no one is saying anything about it or trying to address it and if you do 
You are often told that you're policing black bodies. If you say black women, stop getting on the internet and in, and in the media, twerking, walking around with little clothes on. You're, 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 can, people tell you that you're uh, policing, policing bodies, policing black bodies, or it's respectability politics. If you are black and you speak your piece on what we're seeing in the media, if you don't like seeing the, the, the low morality that is often portrayed about the black community in the media, from the, the trap music to the black women twerking and music videos and all over social media, the Sukihan, Sukihanas and the sexy reds of the world. If you are black and you take issue with it and you talk about it, you are usually called bourgeois, sadiddy, uppity, it's respectability <laughs> politics, you're policing black bodies and the like. And it's like, no. The, the only thing that I'll say that I have not heard I haven't really heard anyone say policing black bodies. I, maybe I live under a rock or something, but I haven't heard that one. Maybe if you live in like certain parts of America or something, they say stuff like that more often. But he, down here where I'm at in Georgia, they keep it real simple. They call you a raccoon, okay, or Uncle Ruckus, or you trying to be white or, you know, some, some other similar ilk as that. You hate yourself, like stupid stuff like that. I haven't heard the thing about policing black bodies i mean may, i don't know maybe that's like a new trend i don't really know i'm black too and as such this being my ethnic culture as well i have a right to have something to say about what i'm seeing going on absolutely your average black american is a middle class working class blue collar jane and joe the ghetto subculture black ghetto subculture that we see often portrayed and over inundated and oversaturating the media those black Americans make up a tiny, tiny percentage of black Americans as a I think um, <laughs> I can't look, I think you're grossly underestimating these people, because, again, I know tons of people I'm talking like friends and straight up family and they might make decent money, but they still as ghettos. They come, they still popping bottles, they still twerking on the Internet. I mean, it don't matter. Like some people I know, they corporate America and they still doing all of that. Just look at the videos I did on this channel already. Look at Jasmine Crocker. Like, yeah, she not like popping her thing and her popping her coochie on the internet, but she is acting like a straight up hood rat in Congress. Just to give you an idea, uh, D.A. Fonnie Willis, look at her. Look at the hood booger mayor. I got a whole playlist on uh, Mayor Tiffany Henyer out in Dalton, Illinois. I mean, just because people start making money don't mean they're not ghetto no more. Doesn't mean that they don't do silly stuff. They don't speak proper English. Even the way I talk on this channel, like I try to keep it mainly proper English, but some of that dialect tends to come out and it's because of being a black male in America and hanging around certain people. It, it's, it can be kind of inescapable at times. Like it's gonna slip and uh, y'all gonna hear the blackity black blackness come out of me. <laughs> it is what it is. The whole, yet mean, but somehow they're in the media um, overcompensating in the media, oversaturating the media. I know I don't just speak for myself when I say that I'm sick of seeing it, that it's gross, that it is destroying what black it, culture is. It's saturated in the media because that's what people want to see. That's what they identify with. In general, people want to see what they identify with. So to say it's oversaturation, that's, you don't want to believe that this is what a lot of people are like. Maybe a lot of people are, like, are not like that around you. But as far as I've seen, and I do have a, I try to keep a very neutral, unbiased perspective, it's, it's most black people are like this. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Actually is. It's co-opting black culture as a whole and making it seem as though all of black culture is ghetto subculture. I'm not the only black American who takes issue with it. Because like I said, majority of black America is middle class, not in the ghettos, not out here perpetuating gang violence, I, promiscuity. I think... And everything else. I think I you're conflating care. poor black people with ghetto black people. Ghettoness can be any amount of money. So just because you're middle class don't mean you're or not if ghetto. you claim it's respectability politics, I guess so. So be it. Because this is gross. It's getting really gross out here how blatantly disrespectful and low class we're acting on social media and in the media, on the internet, on TV. And you can claim that this is someone else's set of moral standards, but no, it isn't. It isn't. Look at Black America in the 50s, in the 60s. Our moral standards back then, drastically different from what we have today, or what we're, we're, we're convincing ourselves is a moral standard today. 
every racial group on the face of the planet has their own ghetto subculture within their respective racial and ethnic groups. This is the case for everybody everywhere, white people, Asian people, Mexican people, you name it. The difference is, is that those racial groups and those ethnic groups do not allow their ghetto subculture to co-opt the entire culture as a whole and to represent the entire culture as a whole. They don't allow it. Everybody else within that respective ethnic group or cultural group or racial group has a right to say how they want to see themselves represented in the media, what they want to see and what they don't want to see. I think so. I mean, not to, no disrespect, sis, but I think you're kind of living in like the Lulu land because if you go out and you run into like an average, let's say an average white person, you're probably not going to get any type of like ghetto or ignorant vibes from them if you just run into like a random person. So it might be like more of a minority for like white people or let's say Asian people. You're probably going to run into just like a, a certain like kind of standard that's set. If you're trying to say that the standard for black people on the whole is like a pretty solid standard and they're only being represented negatively, then that's just false. <laughs> like, this, like if anything, they, they try to ignore the fact that a lot of these people are ghetto and they try to perpetuate kind of what you're saying that well most black people aren't like that but it's like i don't know what part of america you live in but every part of america that i've ever visited and lived in is basically been the same it doesn't matter if it's i, I am in the south but it, it doesn't matter if it's up north it don't matter if it's in the west the east the, it doesn't matter is usually the same the only difference is certain people who make more money are a little bit more controlled with how ghetto they are <laughs> but, but that's about it they may not be in gangs so maybe you mean extremes so maybe you mean like like sexy red types and stuff like well she's a a big artist she makes a lot of money but she's still ghetto i mean a classic example she makes a ton of money sexy red played her at the beginning of this video but still ghetto as hell who gets to speak for them and who does not except for when you're a black American and you have something to say about the way that you see black Americans being portrayed in the media and you have a critique for your peers. You can't do it because it's respectability politics if you attempt to do it. Or you're judging your peers by a set of moral standards that somebody else created, which is a farce. From the reconstruction era down through the 60s, black Americans had their own set of moral standards and social protocols that we adhered to. Ask your grannies, ask your great grannies, they'll tell you. I have had just about enough of seeing black culture being drugged through the muck by other black Americans who are perverting it and turning black culture, something that is beautiful into something perverse, showing their ass on the internet all the time. The men are constantly rapping and talking about gang violence. Our children are uneducated and stupid. We've created a cultural standard of promiscuity and single motherhood. And when a black American goes to critique and judge our peers, our fellow black Americans, and critique the condition of our uh, neighborhoods today, they're shut down. That's respectability politics. You're policing black Americans. If that's what it is, so be it. So be it. It needs to be said. And in order for us to attempt to escape accountability or responsibility on our own part. We claim that the conditions that we see in black communities is being caused by somebody else. It's not our own fault. It's white people mm. and it's structural racism or something or another. It's everybody else's fault except for our own. Give me a break. It's pitiful. It's pitiful that we refuse to take accountability for the things that we see going on in our communities. And sure, we can acknowledge that structural racism and the history of slavery in this country and discrimination and Jim Crow and black codes and all of that has played a part in the conditions and some of the conditions that we see in black communities. But we also have to be responsible for the ways in which black Americans create their own conditions and contribute to the degenerative effects that we see going on in our communities. This is a whole, that concept on the whole of effectively trying to uh, have accountability for oneself, especially if you're some sort of minority group, be it like uh, black or LGBTQ or just being a woman in general and having accountability for like negative outcomes of that class of people. That concept doesn't exist. <laughs> I mean, it's something that, that's something that's in the true minority right like trying to kind of say that well the black people who promote gang culture and twerking and single motherhood i mean the statistics speak for themselves like the amount of black folks that's like uh, in jail or have gone to jail 
um, or single mothers or um, just kind of ratchet in general, don't speak proper English, poorly educated. The volume is pretty high. As a matter of fact, what they've been trying to do, especially the woke leftists have been trying to lower the standard for black folks so that effectively they can still make it into schools and get certain jobs and, you know, all of this sort of stuff without necessarily meeting the standards that a lot of the other more qualified people tend to meet. It doesn't mean that black people never qualify for it, but if you have a lesser education, if black people are known to get like, let's say lower GPAs going to school than other groups or other racial groups of people. And then you still let people into uh, black people into the schools and you still let black people get certain types of jobs anyway, then effectively you're lowering the requirement for them to get into these schools and in positions. It just is what it is. Like there's nothing about that. That's racist. Nothing about that. That's self-hating It's just factual. Let's wrap up here. Black Americans who don't want to hear that immediately run to innocence. They rush to innocence. They claim that it's respectability politics to call out these issues in our community. They claim that it's policing black bodies to call out the low morality and the moral decay in our community. Call it whatever you want. You're not going to get me to shut up about it. I'm black. This is my culture too. I have a right to talk about and critique what is happening in my culture and have something to say about it. That's all. Yeah, I mean, you're right about that. Absolutely. I mean, this is something that I think is actually one of the reasons why I started this channel was to inevitably help out uh, the black community. I want to see America do well because inevitably if America on the whole does well, then that means that me and my family and my friends will also be doing well because I know we don't need woke policies to help us. We don't need a bunch of Rat, uh, certainly not people promoting ratchet drug and gun culture and a bunch of hip hop and pop artists and stuff promoting degeneracy. Like you got Cardi B promoting degeneracy in her music. Then she turns around, goes on Instagram and then tells people, Hey, I mean, I'm just saying that in my music. I don't really mean that y'all got to be realistic. This is the real world. It's like, well, Cardi, people are listening to your music. More people are listening to your songs than they are actually listening to what you say afterward on Instagram. So people actually think you mean what you say in your music. Is that stupid of them? Absolutely. But a lot of people in this world are dumb. <laughs> so guys, I mean, I perfectly understand what she's saying and I agree with most of what she's saying, I just think that it's a little bit pie in the sky to try to say, oh, well, this is like this small amount of black people. I mean, come on, like you just don't want to admit the truth that is a very hefty amount. I can't say definitively how much, guys, but I think it's reasonable to think that it's not like some small minority of black people are the ones out here uh, doing drugs, promoting, uh, promoting and participating in degeneracy. That's just delusional, bro. I just got to keep it real with you. If it was such a small minority of people, we wouldn't even need to have these conversations. You wouldn't have had your video. I wouldn't be making this reaction. We're doing it because we know that it is a lot of people with problems in the community. The statistics for the amount of people that's, that's black, that's in jail, uh, repeat offenders, single moms in the communities, all of these freaking twerking videos. You can't go to, you can't even load up Instagram without seeing a bunch of booties pop up on the screen. It's freaking ridiculous. Anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate you watching a Black Anomaly Rising channel. I'm out. <laughs> and it was a fake Gucci belt. <laughs> but I was so, you're sweet.